So we're here at the mouth of the Santa Ana River. Um, we're uh, trying to make sure that additional oil that comes in does not get into the Talbert Marsh and to the Santa Ana River uh, mouth over here. And so we initially had a boom for the first uh, day or so, and then uh, the uh, Public Works folks started doing construction of the berm here. And so this berm is now, is now contiguous. It's about, right now, they're, gonna, they're continuing to build it. They'll be, they're, they're just coming in, dozers in a second. So this is gonna be, um, uh, right now we're talking about six, so okay, so right now um, we're just at high tide. It's a little bit shy of plus six feet in terms of, in terms of uh, water elevation. And it might get a high tide for another couple minutes, but I think we're just about at the peak high tide. So it's gonna start going down now. So it's gonna, so this is about six foot plus mean high or high water. So uh, on the plane that I'm walking on here, which again is in the channel of uh, the, 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 the main channel of the Santa Ana River, this is a berm that's been built up. This is a, an, an emergency response. So this is better than the booms. The booms have problems. They can be untied or problems can form. <clears throat> so this berm is great. So this berm is natural. Um, we do have uh, sandy beaches and, and the like here in Southern California. Uh, bar built estuaries, et cetera. So it's, it's normal for some of our estuaries to uh, 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 be cut off from, from continuous water supply, connection with the, with the ocean. And so, um, so uh, what's gone over here, as you can see, we've just shoved all this sand up. This is great. Now when we have a big rain event, flood event, this will just blast out and be good. But in the intervening period, we're keeping surface connection uh, we're breaking the surface connection from the, the ocean with potentially floating oil from the rest of this system. So here you see this containment boom, which was, which was uh, an example of some of the first stuff they had out here floating around. And so this is better than nothing, but this, this is a way better structure, this, this sand berm. Doesn't cost much money, just some laborers time. The material is free, it's naturally occurring. It's not gonna have any ecological toxicity or what have you, so this is great. If we were to have a big wind event or storm event that brought um, that brought uh, you know a bunch of oil up this way and oiled this say this this outside of this berm, we could just come in and scoop up that contain, contained contaminated oil and then not uh, and, and remove that and the rest of it would be fine. So this is uh, a great response. It's a really cost effective, really ecologically robust, really smart way to deal with um, the potential of oil getting into this uh, estuary and wetland area here in Orange County in the early days of the Huntington Beach oil spill in October of 2021.